Hi, my name is Greg Turner, and I'm the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. When patients are escorted to the x-ray department, there are always expectations both from the x-ray operator's vantage point and from that of the patient. The x-ray operator expects that the patient will follow instructions and remove the proper clothing from their person. The patient expects the x-ray professional will communicate to them effectively, apply their technical expertise when administering x-rays, and ensure that the patient is safe at all times. In many clinical environments, physicians and administrators may or may not foster a culture where they assure that all patients are protected under standard x-ray laws. X-ray rules and regulations are predicated on exposure levels that are deemed acceptable by radiation physicists. Some medical facilities, like hospitals and imaging centers, use expensive X-ray systems like CT machines and nuclear medicine units that apply a significant amount of radiation, while podiatry clinics and dental offices use significantly less exposure to the patient. As I've traveled across the country, it has become all too obvious that whether or not a patient is protected depends on the culture that is fostered by the administration and medical staff. The big question is, should x-ray professionals always use lead aprons? The short answer is a resounding yes. The long answer to that is if a staff member is not protecting you, they aren't violating the law but they are violating rules and regulations set forth by a government agency. They are also violating internal policies that are usually in place by the facility. That being said, this is more of a moral or ethical practice. Putting the safety of the patient in clinical settings is top priority. Patients must feel protected and standard patient care should be the uncompromising high bar. Although modern x-ray machines are sophisticated and usually apply very low radiation doses to the patient, it is highly advisable for every patient to be shielded in warm form or another. If a staff member does not offer to protect you as a patient during examination, it is advisable that you request a lead apron. Now, if you are a staff x-ray worker, it is recommended practice that you offer every single patient the option of shielded protection. To further protect your patient, if they refuse the apron, make it common practice to advise them to the risks of not wearing one. If the patient refuses further, make sure that it is documented in their chart. As in modern business, it is always best to be more careful than not careful at all. This concludes our segment on x-ray professionals and lead aprons. If you like our video, please subscribe below and hit the bell next to it so that you'll know when we post more information.